welcome back. You are looking at a live shot of uh, Canberra right now. Looks lovely, doesn't it, across Done. the lake? Beautiful. But it's going to heat up. In a couple of hours' time, the RB governor today is sitting down for an absolute grilling. Lawmakers keen to ask him why Australians are being put through consecutive rate rises while the big banks pocket a $14 billion windfall. Joining us live to discuss this is Business New South Wales CEO Dan Hunter. Dan, good to see you. Thanks good for morning. coming in. Now, they can grill him all they want, but at the end of the day, what does need to come from this? Oh, I think we need a pause on rate rises. They're such a blunt instrument. Uh, they are quick to rise and slow to fall, as I like to say, mm. and they take years to play out, and they're crippling business. So, so there's a dual impact there for businesses and revenue and costs. Several big businesses have come out in the last couple of days saying that there's been a, a real downturn in January, uh, yep. which we expected. Everyone went on holidays, everyone spent over Christmas, they've come back, everyone's come back and they've got their credit card bills so there, and there's power bills. So we expected that. Um, but is that enough to control inflation? I mean, that's their chief task. Yeah, I think consumer sentiment's at its lowest levels, actually lower than what it was during COVID. So what you've got is, if we take the example of, of your local restaurant or cafe, it's an easy one. Uh, their debt levels and their repayments have gone up on the expense side. Their revenue's going down. And what we're going to see is we're going to see some foreclosures now. And we're going to see businesses, there. someone's life work. Yeah, business is about people. Mm. It's not just about these big banks and big buildings that we see in the city. Business is in inherently about people, and people are going to go out of business and lose their livelihoods. That only exacerbates the problem, though. Uh, yeah, it does. And, and I think, you know, what we need to look at is what's driving the inflationary pressures because it's not necessarily demand and consumer driven. A lot of it's supply chain driven, a lot of it's labour shortages and we need to look at ways at how we can soften the impacts of those, mm. not just go back to these blunt instruments of keeping rate rises going up and up and up. All you're doing is, is increasing people's costs. How realistic are you um, that they will halt? I mean, you've got... Uh, Deutsche Bank had probably picked mm. the eyes out of it a couple of weeks ago and it said four rate rises, we've already had one, another three more. It's probably about right. And until it gets under control, or at least under seven percent, that surely you're going to you're going to see the Reserve Bank continue to up it. Yeah, I mean, they're not really listening, are they, to everyone else? Well, I think the more pressure that comes on, the more they will listen. Because I think yeah, you know, we had 11 rate rises in a row. It's time to calm down and pause here because the impact of rate rises, don't forget, they take months to yeah. play out. Mm. So we haven't even seen the full impact of this yet, and we really need to pause and see what's going to happen before we just jack up and 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 ruin people's livelihoods. What's the landscape look like? Um, if they continue, if there's another three rate rises for small businesses out there? Oh, I think we'll see a lot of foreclosures. We'll see a lot of businesses actually shut down. Uh, we'll see some of those COVID-like scenes when, we're, when we mm. lock down the economy. And, you know, again, it's back to people. This is their livelihoods. It's often their life work. It's their family businesses. And, you know, we're, we're, we're playing a deadly game here. Are you going the wrong person? I mean, shouldn't, shouldn't you just be going hard at the banks? Uh, oh, look, I think the banks have a role to play and to keep their margins really low. Uh, we need to keep the pressure on the banks, make sure that there's competition there and make sure people can switch their loans, particularly those business loans, and lower their, their repayments and their yeah. interest rates. Uh, but we need to keep the pressure on everybody because it's going to be tough out there. No, we are here. Good on mm. you. Thanks, Thanks so very much. much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dan.